Hello, guys. Um, it is I. Sorry about that. I am heading to church right now. Um, I had to prepare to get something for church um, to speak on tonight. And so, um, with everything that's been going on and stuff like that, I'm speaking on um, the issues of change. Um, excuse me, I got my, my, um, it's hot. I'm in California and it's hot, so I'm all squinting. And then I got my AC on number four. It only goes, well, actually it goes up to number four, but I got it on number three. So I got on my contacts and my contacts are literally drying up on me but anyways um before i head into church i wanted to stop by and say hi to you guys um this is the look of the day i have on like a long dress type shirt i'm wearing it as a shirt and i have on a black skirt um with it so and then makeup very simple i don't know if you can see very simple and my hair is up in a bun um, I was trying to wear my hair down or braid it up matter of fact last night but those of you that know me or I don't know if I've kind of mentioned it on my videos where I have like arthritis carpal tunnel nerve type situations in my hands and for many years since um, I want to say junior high or maybe even high school, I was braiding hair for a long time. And maybe about three or four years I did, I was doing a lot of micros and this one particular micro set that I did, my hands never been the same. And um, it's difficult because it even goes so far as to when I grip something, like when you're trying to turn, um a lid a top to a canister or whatever i have no feelings no strength rather i have feelings but i don't have no strength sometimes in my hands or sometimes my pain it'll go like the the these two fingers right here all the way down to my elbow and on my other hand the index finger sometimes it'll be shaking but um, I know that I did a nerve conduction test maybe three years ago and just hadn't really stayed up on it. And I know I needed to get back on it because I don't want it to be permanently damaged. But anyways, I didn't get on here to talk about all of that stuff. But um, um, I'm just grateful unto God um, on today. It's a lot of things that's been kind of going on. And um, one of the things that I was going to talk about on tonight is, is embracing the change. And like I said, I've already did a video on it, but um, so I'm, I'm having a difficult time because change can be painful. Change can be hurtful, especially when it has something to do with you yourself having to fix or change. And I'm 38 years old. I know I look 18. I know I do. Thank you so much. You shouldn't have. Um, I have a 17 and an 18-year-old. Well, my 17-year-old should be 17 on the 10th. But um, I have a 17 and 18-year-old daughter. And um, just in transitioning through life with my children and myself and divorce and parenting and work and all that other stuff um change has occurred and sometimes change oh it just it just really gets you into a point where you know things are just you know it kind of leaves you at a certain place in life to where you, you're trying to keep it together. You're trying to do things the right way. You're just trying to, just trying. I mean, you just, you just, you're just trying. And sometimes with change is that it pushes you to a, a place where it can be uncomfortable and you're fighting. And it's almost like with the jobs, when they implement a new software, a new system or whatever, everyone 
regardless has to go with the change and if you don't go with the change if you don't go with the new plan if you don't go with the new software the new vision um you're gonna get reprimand you're gonna get fired you're gonna get left behind you're gonna get lost so change is inevitable change is good change is mandatory sometimes but um anyways love you guys talk to you later bye my mama